All right, shalom, beloved. And hopefully everyone is doing wonderful tonight. You know, sitting here just um, came across my mind, you know, as as uh, the world uh, began to celebrate um, their holidays, I call their holidays. And it, it, again, it just got me thinking about not only um, for my people, how is it that my people that claim to believe in the Bible, you know, they will celebrate these uh, these man-made traditions, but they will not celebrate the days that was given to them by the Most High. And it made me also think about the children of Israel during the Egyptian captivity and how the Egyptian Pharaoh would not allow them to go worship the Most High. But nowadays, our people, you know, you know, then, back then, you know, the Egyptian Pharaoh would not let the Most High's people go. But nowadays, my people will not let the Egyptian Pharaoh go, right? But anyway, anyway, you know, and, and it just got me thinking. It got me thinking because we know, again, like I said, the, the, the Egyptian Pharaoh would not let the children of Israel go worship the Most High. Because if, if, if he allowed them to go not only worship the Most High, he would lose that free labor, but also they would probably start to realize how important they was to, you know, the system survival. And the same thing goes on right now. Again, it's it's like, you know, you know, this country built this work off free labor. And then it, it has it has uh perfected itself in such a way that, you know, we don't see the child of slavery no more, but 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 most people don't realize that now it's economic slavery, right? Or it's, uh, um, uh, wage bondage, basically, right? And the, the the monetary system or the means of of uh, medium of exchange is based on a, on a debt, on a promissory note. And then once you are paid, right, or count so-called compensated, then you're taxed on your labor. I mean, that again, just show you how wicked this system is, right? But again, it, it, it goes deeper, fam. It goes deeper because, you know, when you start to realize that, again, especially for my people, you know, my people are the biggest consumers, right? The biggest consumers. You know, and when you start really looking at the high holy days that the Most High gave us, and then you start looking at, you know, how the children of Israel would have affected, uh, you know, uh, them them going worship the Most High. How it would have affected the Egyptian economy. Just imagine if we was to come back and worship the Most High now. You know, saying how it would affect this economy. Because again, remember, you know, it started off with free labor, and then it it, it has again it has. Um, it has rebranded or relabeled itself or or redeveloped itself into this this other form of slavery again economic bondage and and and, and it was, was troubling for me family it was troubling for me is um you know there's always been not only this war against us whether it's again through economics through education uh through medicine through judicial system you know, it's even true religion now, right? It's true religion. And my people are so conditioned, you know, so conditioned and, and, and so used to, you know, following, you know, this not only the man-made rituals or, 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 or the man-made traditions, but, the, but yet they say they believe in the Bible, that they really don't realize that this book, the Bible, is really the key to getting us not only back in, in covenant with the Most High, but it's a key to, you know, it's the key to really uh, bringing, bringing said nation to a halt, right? Because let's, let's be real about it. Being that my people are the biggest consumers, right? We have the spending power of like, to have like the ninth largest uh, economy in the world, right? And again, and we don't mass produce anything. We just consume, right? Let, 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 for my people, we have to let that really sink in. But again, as, 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 as I start thinking about this, as I start thinking about this, and I'm like, 
you know, here it is, the Most High. Again, he he laid out the blueprint from, from day one. You know, he laid the blueprint out from day one. And these people have used, you know, uh, all these other means to, to hide this. Again, like I said, through, through education or through politics, even through religion. You know, and, and, and again, the Most High gave us, again, he gave us, you know, fruits and vegetables and herbs and spices, you know, and now we are going to the same system to pay for what the Most High gave us. You know, we're, we're dependent on the system. Now, when we, when we look at how, you know, as a community, everybody would have to, again, everybody would not only chip in and work together collectively, you know, but we would we would be just as important to each other because we can then trade with, with, with each other, right? You know, you know, again, for example, you know, you, if somebody had chickens, you know, and somebody had some some fresh fruit or vegetables, they can they can trade a border, right? And and we can and we can keep that circling within our community. The same thing would happen to our ancestors, like and again, Rosewood, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and, and, and all the other predominantly black communities that were thriving, you know, uh um uh post slavery, right? Post Jim Crow. But the adversary saw a means or saw a way, or he was jealous. Let's say that he saw he was jealous because he saw how not only um how connected we were, right? But he saw how he saw how that we were keeping that that wealth, right? We he we was keeping that 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 close niche community, but we was keeping those resources within our within our society, within our uh community or within our neighborhoods. But now Again, they sold us this this ideology or this or this lie, and we bought into it. You know, hook, line, and sinker. You know about equality and being part of you know and assimilating, and and yet they have closed every avenue, you know, or made stumbling blocks, you know, or you know made all these stumbling blocks to keep us from you know getting as much success that we have again historically show that we we can achieve and it's just it just again it just made me think family i'm just looking at this and i'm looking at what's, what went on in and again what people call the the old testament or the bible days or whatever and i look at how again it's the same thing that was going on then it's the same thing now you know and but most people can't really see it they just they really just think this is just a, a, a fairy tale you know this they think this stuff is just made up but anyway, family, that's just what I see. You know, I, I, you know, it's something that was on my mind, and I, I've been really wanted to touch upon this. And um, again, share your thoughts. You know, for those that really, you know, may, may may see the same thing or may see something different. You know, and you know, for those that can't see it or you know what have you, you know, that's on you. You know, as long as you keep your comments respectful. You know, but anyway, with that being said, as usual, peace, love, shalom.